Good Friday evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another thrilling Beer 30 Sanity Session. Woo -hoo That's what my daddy used to say. Woo -hoo send my boots and saddle to the barn. We'll send my beer to the barn. And he no, send the beer to me. Here's to you, here's to me. Beer 30. Take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out, relieve your stress, relax, chill out, because we're not going to do anything that will be stressful during this video, I guarantee you. And it will be a very educational video in some way that you may not recognize immediately, but a year from now you'll go, God, that's right. Anyway, here's to you, here's to me. Hmm. This was a beer I saved from yesterday, and it had about that much in it. Now it's got about that much in it, and so I'm just I'm just finishing it off. But it is beer 30. It is Friday evening. It's the day after Thanksgiving. I hope all of you had a good Thanksgiving and or had plenty of leftovers and stuff. Why am I doing that to my hair? Because that's the kind of guy I am, you know. Here's to you. Let me just kill this thing off and get my other one started here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Gone. That's why I like these one with these screw tops. Because if I don't finish it in the evening, I put it back in the refrigerator. Does that help? Hell yeah, it saves you money. In no sense pouring good beer out. You know what I mean? And if you're not, and when I'm beered out, you know, when I'm finished, I'm finished. You know what I mean? That's what. That's the way I do. Now, does that mean anybody else should do the same thing? No. You do you, I do me. And as you know, I had a little chest congestion the past few days. Well, it started really noticeably on, I guess, Tuesday. And then uh, Wednesday, it got, it peaked, and then Thursday it was gone. <laughs> yo, 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 get it, immune system guys. But yeah, but what I was going to tell you, back in the 1950s, when I was like 10 years old, say, well, t 1950, I was five yeah because i was born in, I'm, I'm getting there yeah so yeah 1950 in those early years of my life you know we didn't ha we didn't go to doctors man i still don't i mean i picked that habit up when i was a kid we just didn't go you know mother or daddy you know put some kerosene you know, i will talk about that but anyway but if you had the crud or whatever they called it back then I, there, there was we called it the croup i think was what we called it and uh it's basically just the flu or a mild case, you know, where this congestion forms in your chest and you get a little, maybe have a drippy nose, may have a little fever, yada, yada, yada. But it, it was the flu is all it was, just whatever form, I don't know. It was uh, Dove Sick or something, 4211, you know. They, they didn't have a name for it. You know, it was the influenza or flu, that was it. And, uh, you know, once you start giving stuff catchy names, oh, 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 baby, you can get people to do some you can get people to do some strong shit, you know. But anyway, uh, but what my mother would do, she would fix up, uh, she would get the wa water real hot in this little pan, and she would mix in some, I don't know what it was, but it had a pretty potent smell. You know, I don't know. It was, uh, I can't remember, uh, but it was like a chest compress. But anyway, you know, if you, you'd, I'd be laying in bed, and then she'd come and she'd put this thing on my chest, okay? And it'd be real warm. I mean, you're hot. And it had these vapors coming off of it. And I'm not sure what those vapors were. Uh, they weren't toxic. I'm still here. But, but yeah, what that would do uh, after a, a, a few applications, it would cause that ch congestion to break up in the bronchioles of your lungs. And so when you cough, you could ex expel those, uh, that stuff. And, uh, and once you do that, then you're back to normal again. What you can do now, uh, which is the same thing basically, is just get your shower really steamy and breathe that steamy air and it'll do the same thing. Or you can put water on your stove and get it boiling and inhale that steam, but you know, don't get, you know, don't get too close, you know what I mean. You don't want to inhale the really hot stuff, but you do want it warm, very warm. But anyway, so that was the chest compress stuff. Uh, and then another thing, uh, well, of course, back then, you, there was mumps, measles, uh, crap, I don't know, polio vaccinations, you know, I like stuff. Yeah, and I'm sure I got everyone that they did at school because they'd line us up like uh, little 
uh, people in a concentration camp, and here we go. <laughs> you, know, shit. you know, we just did what we were told. And, uh, yeah, you know, polio vaccine and stuff. And I, never, did y'all, it, I never knew. Now, I know some of you guys probably have, and I'm not being cruel. or Well, I never knew anybody that ever had polio in my entire life. And I never knew anybody that knew anybody that had polio. It's kind of like I've never known anybody that's won the, quote, big lottery, nor have I known of anyone who has known somebody that won the big lottery. You know what I mean? So some of these things I think are almost like the tooth fairy syndrome. But they used to show back then, the 1950s and stuff, they had a thing called the iron lung. You know, it was this round tube. And people with polio or whatever they had lived, you know, had their, their head was sticking out of that big round tube, you know, the iron lung. I thought, geez. I mean, anyway, here's to you, here's to me. We'll get through with this. This is not bad. And then if you, uh, if you uh, cut yourself or, or uh, stepped on a rusty nail or, or uh, something like that, kerosene, that's it. Kerosene was the cure-all. You know, mother would get a rag and put kerosene on it and wrap it around whatever it was. I mean, if it was hanging on, she'd, tie it down, she'd tape it on with that kerosene rag and it, it worked. You know, but we rarely, I don't remember, well, I, I went to the doctor, you had to have a physical for football, but back then, now some of y'all may not remember this, doctors actually made house calls. Yeah, you didn't always go to the doctor's office. Uh, you did sometimes, but sometimes if you were immobile, I, I never was, and I don't remember anybody in my family, but uh, there, the doctors would make house calls, and, I, and, I, and I could, I'd like to see you get one to do that today. You better be Elon Musk or somebody to pay that bill. But, hell, I can't even get a an appointment with a doctor. I mean, I just sent in a new patient application to another doctor that was referred to me by the doctor that wasn't taking any more patients. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, maybe I'll, I, I just want to do the annual uh, wellness thing. Well, there's the wellness exam with Medicare, and then there's the physical exam. Well, I'm going to kind of blend the two because I want to get a, a blood workup and, you know, some basic stuff. I just want some numbers, so a baseline, so that a year from now I do it again. I want to see what the trend, start looking at trends, you know what I mean? And that's a good thing to do. I haven't done it, so I'm a little uh, negligent in that respect. But uh, that takes care of, is there anything else? That takes care of the house the medical stuff, okay, that takes care of that page or that chapter of, of Beer 30 Sanity Session today. So let's uh, have another drink and we'll reload for the second chapter. Here's to you, here's to me. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, beer's tasting better today than it did yesterday. That's a good sign too. That's always That's how you can tell you're getting well, at least for me. Um, anyway, I was driving around today. I took a long drive in my electric car, my all-electric Chevy Bolt, and I uh, drove down to uh, Amistad, Lake Amistad Recreation Area and drove around, went by some of the campgrounds and stuff. And I, I may post that video. I did a video. I may post it, may not. It's kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, well, you'll doze off, I guarantee you. Uh, but be that as it may, uh, while I was driving around down there, I was thinking, well, you know, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to check, because I had talked to that uh, salesman at, at a Toyota dealership near here, and uh, and he was going to get me some numbers and never did, and I, and I was curious as to what they might be, you know, because I, actually I wanted to know uh, what the price of a uh, new, uh, they make a, 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 Toyota makes a very good car. It's the number one uh, rated manufacturer in the world as far as dependability, and uh so, you know, why not buy a Toyota, either a Prius or whatever. So what I, what I did was uh, I, I got a hold of the guy finally, and I said, you know, uh, you got any uh, RAV4 uh, hybrids there? No. Do you have any coming in? He checked. They got one coming in. It's a white. Uh, it's called a, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. It's uh, let me maybe, just, maybe I wrote it down. I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a hybrid. It's called a Woodland Edition. At first, I thought it was made out of wood, but it's not. And uh, but yeah, it's a 
it's got some you know fancy wheels you know for outdoor driving which I, 50 percent of the things on the car i did not need but just as to see where we were uh, I, I wanted to see what the price was but anyway he, he finally sent me a text and uh, the car is like uh it's it would be delivered in december to the dealership here near near here and uh it was going to be like thirty-five thousand. I, I thought, well, you know, that's kind of expensive, but you know, let's we'll see what that is. Then he sent me another text. Okay, that's that's the MSRP delivered to the dealership. Then they add another five thousand to that. You hear me? I don't. know. They got a name for it. And and I, and I, the reason I, I didn't think Toyota dealers were doing that anymore because I know Toyota management or manufacturing got angry about these guys really jacking the prices up and the sales going down and so that's what's happening but yeah it added five thousand dollars to the ms so it's msrp plus five thousand and it, and i also asked about well, so what if i ordered a, a new prius and he said well you know you can't really order them we can put one on our quote shopping list blah 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 and i said well when it comes in though do I get it at MSRP? He said, no, it'll be plus five or six thousand dollars. And I said, well, hell, that's that. Uh, as far as your dealership's concerned, uh, that puts you out of the running because I'm not going to pay that uh, bump of five thousand or six thousand, whatever it is. But what? I, and then I, I I got to thinking. No wonder new car sales are down. You know, and they're down a lot. You know, it depends on which statistic you look at. But what I looked at after I hung up talking to him, was, uh, you know, for the period 2014 through 2019, you know, car sales were running about 16 to 18 million units a year in the United States. And then, of course, we had that <clears throat> that glitch for the pandemic. And, and then, you know, things kind of started coming back up in 21 and 22. Well, in 21 and 22, the average is somewhere between 12 and 14 million. So, you know, that's about a 20% drop there. And, and, and at the, the last years when they started this added these five or $6,000 bumps to MSRP. And so I have a feeling that at some point, uh, you're gonna, the, the manufacturers are gonna go around the dealers. You know, they're gonna just cut them out. I mean, you know, that's good. Well, it's already a big change. Why am I telling you that during Beer 30? Because I ain't got nothing else to talk about. <laughs> that's why. So here you, here's to you, here's to me. So they did me a favor there because what that told me was either I would have to go to another dealership somewhere that's not doing the add-ons. And according to this particular group down there, uh, that's it's it's nationwide. It's not just in Texas or in a certain state or in a certain area. Every dealer, whether it's uh, Toyota, Honda, Ford, General Motors, or who, uh, you get a bump. But you know they didn't do it on the the electric vehicle. You know, and and that's something else. You know, if you're gonna buy a car uh, in a market, uh, just be aware of what are the most popular cars are in that market because those are the ones that are going to be the highest price you know they're not going to want to let go of those because they're, they're selling them you know like an ev uh, in my area would not be a big seller why at the dealerships in this area why because there's no real there's not that much demand but you get around metropolitan areas like san antonio austin texas houston texas dallas fort worth metroplex then, then the demand goes way up because, yeah, the, the people can utilize them uh, much better. So what does that have to do with Beer 30? Well, you can see what it, how it ties in. Here's to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. But anyway, guys, it's been a good day. It's been, well, I say good in the sense that I feel much better. Uh, and also, you know, I took a nice drive, of course, and I'm charging my car now out there uh, using the dryer plug-in. It's like, it's about 15 miles an hour. It, it adds about 15 miles an hour using the dryer plug as opposed to using the 110 outlet over here, uh, which is uh, about five miles an hour. 
But anyway, because I ran it all the way down to under 80 miles, man, range, uh, just, you know, checking it out. And so, yeah, but it's uh, it's been a rainy day and gray. And tomorrow, thank goodness, and for the next 10 days, we've got some sunshine. Let me ask, oh, what's her name, a question here. Let me get the, did I turn the phone thing on? The mic and camera are off. Uh, hmm. Oh, I can do it here. I can do it here. Is it snowing in Alpine, Texas? Snow showers, Alpine, Texas, 32 degrees. Okay. Is it snowing in Capitan, New Mexico? It doesn't say it's snowing. It just says it's uh, 26 degrees. You know, God, I'm you know, it is snowing. It does show snow at, well, at 5 p.m. I don't know if that's accurate or not. But anyway, so yeah, you know, I'm, boy, I'm telling you, uh, when things don't work out for me, I, 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 be, I ought to just pat myself on the back because uh, if things worked out like I wanted them to wherever I was at that moment, hell, I'd have a house in Capitan freezing my butt off. And then I'd have a place in, in Fort Davis uh, freezing my butt off. Or I can just have this right here, and it's nice and cozy. You know what I mean? Hell, it's 53 degrees outside here. It is not a pretty day because it's kind of sprinkling rain, but, I mean, it's 53, and that's probably the low. I, it's not going to get much cooler tonight, I don't think. Find out. Yeah, well, it's actually the, the low shows to be 44. Uh, so, you know, that's not bad. And then tomorrow, 63 with a high and a low of 40. And then on, you're going to love this. Why am I telling you this? Because it's important. Sunday, 71 for a high, 41 for a low. And then it's all sunny. How beautiful. Oh, that'll help me get feeling better quicker than anything. But guys, for those of you that really want to, if you get the crud, uh, get do the home remedy from the 1950. I wish I could remember what she put on that rag I, I, there's a name of that stuff that she put on that pad that gave it a well it, it wasn't unpleasant odor it just wasn't all that great you know and uh so but yeah try that and then also if you want a new car shit you dreaming unless you want that purple one with the red interior on the on the parking lot or that polka dot one yeah they got those on sale they got a few but there, there's something wrong with them. They're all dogs, I guarantee you. But uh, but anyway, guys, enjoy your Friday evening. Chill out. Relax. I'm telling you, taking that deep breath and breathing out slowly does work. I do it several times a day. I encourage you to do it too. And with that in mind, guys, let me have one more swallow. Here's to you. Here's to me. Should we ever disagree? <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> so enjoy your evening guys thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want anytime use the amazon link if you choose to if you don't want to fool with it don't no problem uh drink plenty of water stretch walk stand stand guard at the door of your mind you know that one and uh keep your health guys and uh enjoy this long weekend for those of you that got a nice long weekend and uh yeah, Christmas is coming. The lights are on the tree. And, uh, yeah, it's good. But anyway, guys, it's so good to feel good. Adios, amigo. And I'm back in the Class C motorhome. Bye. 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 Bye.